right so good day good day and welcome back to the channel so y'all today all right i wanted to talk to y'all about like it's it's a touchy subject but i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway so i want to talk to y'all about heaven and hell and i want to start by saying like what we think hell and heaven is is like not true all right and the reason why i say that is because the world the entire world the entire existence of the world is based off of um vibrations frequencies and energy like everything is vibration everything is a frequency everything is energy right and so nikola tesla he was like back in the day he was like you know if you want to understand the universe you, you need to look at it in the form of frequency, energy, and um, and vibrations or whatever. And so when he said that, you know, a lot of people started to really study this. Like, they wanted to know, like, what the world was he talking about? So they literally would, like, take tuning forks, put them alongside each other, bang one, see if the vibration was the same on that one, sound muffle muscle the sound on the other one and then the vibration would tr uh, transfer and the tone would play through the the tuning fork that was not being tapped right and so then they started like different people started studying vibrational frequency uh mega these hertz and started figuring out okay at certain hertz things do this at certain hertz things do that at certain hertz things do this and then they realized that when 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 you put certain hertz to cells it would cause like cells because they wanted to know if it worked on living organisms so they they wanted you to know uh, they wanted to see if it worked on living organisms and if it did work on living organisms what effect did it have on living organisms and so they would play these they would sound these frequencies these hertz and they would be like all right at this hertz it did the cell did this so there was times where they would put it at like cancer cells and then you'll see the cancer cells separate before it uh, grows. And then um, at certain hertz, then the cell would disappear, like be non-existent, right? And so when they would do this, this is how they would do their studies. They, they were also studying like how could a person sing at a pitch to cause a glass to shatter, right? And so once they start understanding that, oh... If you do things at this frequency, then you get the glass to shatter. Then you get the bridge, like because it was a bridge that collapsed, and they were studying that. You use this frequency, you can get things to fall apart and shatter. You use this frequency, you can get things to do this. So once they start figuring out how to utilize frequency, then that's when they figured out how we can really control the masses, right? But I said all that just so you can get a little cultural content. So you can go do this research on your own. I just want y'all to know, all right? And so when it comes to frequency, and this is why most people that are in this line of work, that are in this field, stress the importance of raising your vibration. Because literally, if you don't raise your vibration on in this realm, it's going to be low in the other realm, all right? And so what happens when you're on a low vibration in this realm? You tend to repeat cycles. Um, you never accomplish your goals. You know, and just things just don't work out for you because you're so low vibrational that you can't attract what you need to attract into your life, right? But what happens when you raise your vibration? Things just start feeling good. You know, you start feeling good. Um, you start to manifest things. You're able to manifest things with a clear mind. You stop worrying. You're no longer depressed. All these good things happen to you when you um, when you raise your vibration. All right. You already know, like if and here's how you understand, like in, how energy and frequencies work. How many times have you went in a room with somebody, and then you go in this room with these people, and you feel that the vibe is off? That's what it got it from. The vibe is off and the vibe is off because the frequency is off because you're not vibrating on that frequency if you stay in that room where the vibe is off then your vibe gets off right it, it gets knocked off balance you know 
if people around you ain't happy, then you get unhappy. When when people are at, notice when you're at a funeral and people are crying and sad because the frequency is that low, then you start getting sad and wanting to cry. It's because you're you're intermingling with that frequency. All right, so the best thing for you to do when the vibe is low is for you to lead. All right, and that's the same thing in life. If you vibrating on a low frequency, you're going to notice yourself in a cycle and you're going to notice yourself not accomplishing anything. And this is how the world, the matrix can keep you in the same spot. So you have to be in a position or you have to get to a point to where you want to raise your vibration so you can um, so you don't have to keep going through these cycles. All right, because you're going through these cycles because your vibration is so low. Your life is so hard because your vibration is so low. You can't manifest because your vibration is low. And so it's the same thing when you transition into the other realm, into the spirit world. Okay, when you transition into the spirit world, if you are low vibrational on earth, uh, in this realm of reality, then guess what? You're going to vibrate at a low frequency in that realm. And you're going to be in this loop, repeating the same things, doing the same things, and you're not going to be able to really navigate that world. But, oh, if you're on a high vibrational frequency in this world, then you're going to vibrate high in that realm too. So it's not necessarily a heaven or hell it's a low vibration and a high vibration and you choose what you want to experience on the other side by what you experience here in church boy they get you don't they they always be like oh you gonna go to hell if you do this if you kill if you steal if you do this if you have sex before marriage and daughters all that stuff is great but I feel like it's a misconception. It's a bit misleading. You're not going going to hell. You're going to continue to vibrate on that frequency even in the afterlife and not experience joy. So it's not necessarily hell that you're going to. You're just not going to experience joy in that world just like you didn't experience joy here. So it's not that you're not supposed to have sex before marriage. It's like... You're creating soul ties and these soul ties could come with some chaos energy or some low vibrational frequencies that can continue to keep you stagnant in this realm. And then if you were to transition to the other realm, then you're going to still vibrate at that frequency. Whether if you do good positive things and vibrate on a high vibe and a high frequency at all times on this realm, when you transition, you will vibrate on a high frequency in that realm. And then you will begin to experience that joy, that ever your soul will begin to experience that everlasting life that they talk about. All right. So uh, look, I know some of y'all people that's on here, you know, y'all want to hit me with the Bible verses and everything. And you can, you can hit me with all the verses because I'm not denouncing anyone's way of life. I'm saying that what is being taught is inaccurate based to my understanding of what is happening around us and how everything in this world operates. So if you come on here with your low vibrational energy, you're going to be low vibrational arguing with yourself because I'm not for it. I'm not here for it. I ain't here for it. You know, so I just I just want to you know pretty much give you guys um this understanding because a lot of times we we see things and we read things and we don't go for the deeper meaning or we hear people tell us stuff and we don't look into the deeper meaning and i even want you to look into the deeper meaning of frequencies and energies and vibrations so that you yourself could have that understanding as to what um you know what I'm talking about, all right? But yeah, frequencies. It's no heaven and hell. It's a frequency, high vibration, low vibration. 
And I feel like that, you know, being bind to a particular religion, which regular means to bind, you know, limits you from experiencing the different vibrational frequencies that you can experience in this realm because you're living so restricted that you don't, you can't be freed because you're so restricted. Like, you know, you listen to what the pastor is saying. And I've been seeing these pastors on the news that keep committing the same sins because they're on that low vibration. You know, but these are the ones that are being followed. You know what I'm saying? And so, because you got all these restrictions, you're not able to live out your truest potential. And so, the more you vibrate on this low frequency, you'll see that, hey, you're unable to attain a certain life because of the frequency. Not necessarily that you have bad work ethics. Because you might be the best worker out there. But if your vibration is low, you won't attract the necessary things that you need um, in this life. All right. Or in the afterlife. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to jump on board of... Um, on patreon where we can have more discussions like this the link is in the description below also if you are wanting intuitive readings or you are interested in the heal that soul where we can uh, you know pretty much do certain things and put implement certain things to raise your vibrational frequency for the new year go ahead link me on patreon and um, choose one of those packages and we can go from there. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this message and peace. Get me cold.